Hey, what's up? It's DJ. New and updated mods are out now for Farm Sim 22. A total of seven mods were released today. All platforms got five new and two updates, and well, that's seven. Uh, in today's video, we'll take a look at all the new mods plus customization, and we will review both of the mods that got updated. Timestamps are linked below. Let's do it. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the new map, Bally Spring Crossplay. It doesn't actually say crossplay on it, but this is the crossplay version, very similar to the PC only version, uh, but it's here for all platforms. It is a fictional Irish map based in the west of Ireland with 172 fields, mainly grasslands with some arable fields in between, as you can see. And there's 10 farmyards to choose from, and you can find them with these circles, which is super, super cool. Highly customizable map with all buildings, walls, hedges fences and yard clutter removable so you can really remove some stuff yo is that a telehandler going down the road bruh that's so cool have I not noticed that in the main version? Anyway, uh, once you start either farm manager or start from scratch modes, you don't own any land. So you're not also gonna be able to interact with any of the objects until you purchase it. So um, whether you've got a fence or maybe you've got a few other things, you're not gonna be able to interact with that. So be ready for it. Where are we by chance? Uh, hang on a minute. Do we have cattle? Yo, do we have animals? We do, holy cow. Speaking of cows, uh, we have 35 cows. Look at that. Uh, also, a uh, calf. Um, I don't know if that's because I have another mod installed or not, uh, but calves aren't on consoles, are they? That's kind of cool. Um, all gates on the map are opened by default. This is to allow access to the fields and things like that so that you guys can go in and out of those and do contracts, that type of thing. Uh, but you can close them once you purchase the land. So that was a very, very good, uh, not even hindsight, that was being able to look into the future and say, this is going to be a problem. And they fixed it before it was even a problem. How cool is that? The open animal pastures on the map have placement markers to show the size when placing. After placement, the marker needs to be manually turned on by walking up the side and left clicking on your mouse, aka push some buttons on your controller. As far as everything else goes, let's pop up here and take a look at the map itself. What do we get? Well, we get this whole area, which is just one bit. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields in that one little bit. And I think that's it. Uh, you can buy the outside of the map, zero dollars. So it'll give you uh, the road system as well as the lake. So that's kind of cool. Hey, if you want that, go for it. Uh, we do have some big areas way up here at the top end of the map where you can do some logging, forestry, stuff like that. And uh, well, pretty much everything all the way around. I loved this map on uh, PC. It was released on their website first. I enjoyed playing it there. I've enjoyed playing the PC only version in my time off. And uh, I'm sure you guys will very, very much so enjoy this version that is out now for all platforms. What are you gonna get whenever you start using it? That is the wrong setup. Here we go. Uh, we have a small track of the Massey 5S. We got a Massey 3670, Doids Far Top Liner, and a Kloss Carrot. As far as your header, that's going to be the regular header. We've got your Cedar, Sprayer, Fertilizer Spreader, Slurry Tanker. We have a Rear Mower only, as well as a Tether, Wind Rower, Baler, which does not wrap, so keep that in mind. We also have a Front Loader, a couple Front Loader tools, and Header Trailer. Just about everything that you need. Very, very cool, man. I'm so happy to see this released. We do have something really cool that's out today, though. The Volvo WIA from BC Bueller and the other Corey, as well as Mento. We have got a really cool truck to show you guys. 375 horsepower manual transmission, 600 liters of fuel, and it goes 74 miles an hour. Cab, we have the day cab. We also have the day cab with a long bed and then the XL. Then we have the flat roof sleeper with a couple different uh, options through there. Mid roof sleeper. And then we have the X2. So this will hook up to X2 attachments. We have the service bed attachment. Yes, the service bed, 82 Studio service bed. And then we have the sleeper service bed. So you can do a sleeper cab with a tow truck. It'd be just fine. We also have the X3 attachments if you guys want to use those. And then back to the day cab again. Uh, engine setup. We have a couple different ones through here. 375, 425, 475, 525, 650, and back down. We'll set up. We have the Crosstrack HS3 Aluminums. Then we have number twos, number threes, number fours, steel, 
and back to aluminum again. So quite a few options through there. Uh, was that five options, I believe? Yeah, grill and bumper. Standard, we have the Volvo logo. You definitely want that. Then we have low bumper, low bumper and logo. And back to standard again. Let's go Volvo logo. Cabin roof options. We have uh, decab number two, design three, four, plus some antennas. These are not those weird long ones that just kind of bounce around everywhere, which is good. And then we've got even options with beacons, I believe they said. Beacons, yeah. Beacons added there on the side. All kinds of stuff, man. Rock and roll. Moving down. Exhaust. So we have the uh, single regular curve, curved tall. We have the single straight, straight tall, dual curved, dual straight, and back in again. Uh, wet kit. I'm actually not sure what a wet kit is. I'm going to guess it's somewhere around the back. Yeah. Uh, standard or wet kit back of cabin. So we have a handle there. We've got fair or flare fairings. Yeah. Headache rack. And then a couple different options through all of those rear options. Uh, we have a couple different fender options as well as mud flaps. Man, that thing looks epic. And then fuel tank, 85 gallon or 150 gallon. That's going to be 600 liters or 1,075 liters, respectively. Main color, we've got quite a few color options here, including Volvo Green. Got the Yongs over here, and we've got all kinds of other stuff there, too. I like the Volvo Green, so let's go with that. Fender's gonna be the exact same thing. And then we have a Roof. Let's go with that there as well. Bumper options, we've got quite a few. It's gonna be the bottom of the front bumper. You know what, let's uh, go overboard here with this green color. And then we have not only the four colors that I say everyone needs for the rims, chrome, gray, white, and black, but also every other one as well. Somebody listens. I see you, BC. I see you, man. Uh, and there you go. That is the Volvo WIA. Next, we have the bulk truck bed pack from BC Bueller Farms, and we've got quite a few things in here. So we have the Brandon Green Box, the Winkler Green Box, as well as the Silage Boss, uh, with the X2 and the X3. And then we have X2 and X3 versions of the Lockwood 20-foot potato box. Now, you don't have to just put potatoes in here. You put whatever you want in there. It's just really cool. On the Brandon Green box, this may look a little bit familiar because this is very similar to what was on the Matt Green hauling pack, which got an update today. We'll talk about that soon. This holds 20,400 liters uh, or 101,800. 1080 80 liters something like that then we have mud flaps i'm sorry i had to yawn man today's been a weird morning now uh, we've got all kinds of different flaps here depending on if you're running a uh a two axle or three axle or no axle main colors you have all the colors from the volvo truck that we just showed off so that is cool and then we have the winkler box 23,000 liters here and we have a solid end tarp as well as hydraulic end tarp. We also have silage extensions, no end gate or unrealistic capacity for these. It's 115, 137,000 liters. That's really cool. Uh, ladder, we basically have yes or no, uh, rear front, uh, mud flaps. Again, uh, different mud flaps through there. And we have decals on this one. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, main colors, design and design colors, all the same as well as another design color then we have more the silage boss this is available in x2 or x3 attachments I like the x3 it's a little bit bigger so let's go here Thirty-seven thousand liters we have silage boss written on the side back and forth between those design mac and volvo or mac and volvo tritum different things tlx phoenix back and forth realistic capacity or unrealistic it's 185,000 liters in there then we have that main color and the design color moving on we have the x2 Basically the same here, uh, except our Unreal Express is 163,000 liters. Then we have the Lockwood Potato Box. As you can see at the bottom, this is going to be a normal bed, but uh, you can put whatever you want in there. It's kind of cool. Speaking of, we have capacity options, 19,900 liters, 21,200 liters, 23,600 liters, or 118,000 liters. Ladder, we have ladder that's going to be on the very back fenders we have the mac and volvo fenders mac and volvo tritum uh tlx phoenix agro which is a perfect truck for this uh and then standard decals we have a couple different setups here so you can run lockwood that's awesome make this match your potato planter and then we have all your different colors and they actually have uh, lockwood green in there which is so so cool and that 
It's your bulk truck bed pack. Heck yeah, man. You can use this with BC Builders trucks or 82 Studios trucks. Our next new map for all platforms today, yes, we have two of them, is Bergen Land Christ. Now, they do say that they're single player and multiplayer versions, as you can see. They do say only use the multiplayer when you are in multiplayer and only the single player when you are in single player, because otherwise there will be problems with gates, vehicles, and buildings. Today, we're going to show off the single player. And unfortunately, this map also requires at least 18 mods. I'm not really quite sure if there's any more. These are just the 18 it required. So let's see uh, what this map is all about. Also, uh, you may see it stuttering. Uh, for some reason, either this map has got too much stuff going on or it is terribly <laughs> optimized uh, because I'm getting, what was that, the uh, 40s? Well, it was just a second ago. Uh, yeah, there you go, 46, 47. Uh, my computer could do basically whatever I ask it to. I'm pretty sure it could fly to the moon. Um, and I never have any trouble with maps. This one I'm getting trouble for. So there's uh, two demerits right there. Cannot imagine this map doing very well. Looks cool. Uh, it's their first map that they've ever put out. There's a lot of stuff, tons of placeables. There better be a lot of placeables for as many as we've had to download. Uh, at least it is not flat. Could be worse. Yesterday was... A very, very flat map. We've also got some really neat traffic as well. So, shouty out to them for a little bit something different. Uh, and then this entire area in here, we have a swamp. That's cool. We don't really get swamps very often. But, uh, fortunately, there you go. We got 67 fields, including meadows, 19 forestry plots. Now, uh, they do say video cassette. So, it looks like they've taken the video cassette option. Um, these are things that I don't know what they mean. So there you go. Uh, all kinds, I'm guessing, different uh, farmlands, that type of thing. Uh, there you go. I went to BGA. Hey, I know what that is. <laughs> uh, popping around. You can see we've got a couple different sets of vehicles, of course. Uh, lots and lots of equipment in here. So if you guys are wanting to use a lot of equipment, there is a lot of equipment. I'm not going to go through each one, but uh, you guys can if you want to. I'm just trying to get off this map as soon as I can. Nonetheless, there you go. I just wish uh, wish we didn't have to A, download so much, B, that this was better optimized because this is playing rough, sorry. And your last new one for all platforms today is gonna be the K-Branded Prolander 6000. This is a big cultivator for you. 220 horsepower, six meters and nine miles an hour. Wheel brands, we have Trelleport, BKT, Lizard, which is very cool, uh, and then back in, and then you got your license plate, and that is about it. Uh, does say six meters, nine miles an hour? Looks very good, too. Good job on this one. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. We have the Matt Grain Hauling Pack from BC Builder Farms and Mato. This is going to be version number two of the mod. It is important to know that some of the changes made in this update may alter the appearance of existing vehicles. So, uh, make sure you uh, double check. Maybe blue instead of green. You never know. So, this update has added the Mac RS700 L X2 and X3 attachment truck. They've added the X2 Pup trailer. New sounds from Mato with new new engine options, a new 13-speed transmission that has improved shifting, new aluminum and steel wheel options on certain vehicles, made the air conditioner optional now, added interior color option, added new color option to the 6x4 truck, raised the jack on the pup trailer for improved clearance, improved the grill appearance, and texture improvements. Since we've got a big update to this, let's talk about it a little bit. So this is the Mac RS700 LX2 X3 attachment, uh, not to be confused with the uh, regular six by four that was released so this is going to be very similar to the volvo that we saw now 280 horsepower on here we do 365 500 525 650 head back down so similar options uh, we have all the same wheel options that we do with our normal truck design these are going to be the same exhaust are the same rear options uh, we do have a little bit different through here i think uh, of course air conditioner those are made uh, optional now wet kit this is a little something different over there uh, interior we've got different colors there but this is where it gets real interesting so we have the x2 the x3 attachment let's see if i can get the get the camera right then we have service beds so if you guys are using 82 studio service beds you could do that then we have a really long fifth wheel option and then back to the x2 again uh, main color design design color design color and rim color uh, all are exactly what you would expect to see through there now something else that we got we've had the green pup trailer but now we have the x2 and x3 pup trailer this is neat because we can take an x2 or an x3 attachment and put them on here turning them not needing a truck 
but just needing to be put on a trailer. Uh, we do have wheel options that match those of BC Beeler Farms, and then we have the X2 or X3 with rim colors. The frame is going to be black no matter what you do. And funny enough, your only other update today for, well, anything is the Fin 900 Vario series from Schnibble Modding. It's gonna be version number two, fix the steering control or steering console only when playing without interactive control. They fix the left beacon when not selected. Completely new interior decals on the 900 Gen 6. Decals on the 900 Gen 7 are completely revised. Added the dark mode for both generations, halogen or LED configuration for the light pack and new tractor sounds. Well, guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Goham fam. Double check those notification bells. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We've already dropped two videos and this is number three, I think, for the day. We dropped the Horse Aggravation Pack, Everything You Need to Know DLC vid, as well as Farm Some News, which was kind of depressing today. Not gonna lie. So uh, if you guys want to get bummed down on a Tuesday, go watch Farm Some News. You definitely need to go watch it anyway. Some big stuff happening right now. All being said, just hope you have a good one. We'll see you later.